All right, guys, trying out my new tripod from a camera here. Hey, I had a couple of people message me and email me directly asking about uh, some information. They were a little slow and they want to know how to buy a contractor's phone number. So um, I'm going to go ahead and probably have to make this a two-part series so I don't end up making like a half-hour video that people are only watching for like four minutes. Uh, do me a favor, if you find this uh, content interesting, like and subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell because there's going to be a part two. I already know it. So let's get started. All right, so how you buy a phone number. Uh, let me give you some brief information on that. Uh, you're going to need uh, a voice over internet uh, phone service. You can't do this from a cell phone. Or maybe you can, I don't know. I didn't do it. So you're going to need to have uh, a phone carrier, whoever that is in your area. Uh, when I was in business, I used a place called Clarity Voice. Uh, there's many of them out there. You can find one, but you, you got to have phone service, first of all, for your business. Uh, second of all, the first step, and this is, this is important, it really is this easy. So what I did, these are phone books. I'm saving them. I don't know, you know, if you're pretty smart, you can figure out why. Um, this is a um, 2017 phone book. Two different, you know, people that publish those. I'm going to pick my cell phone up. I'm going to dial every heat and air contractor on a Saturday in the phone book. A to Z. And I'm only going to make a list of everyone that's disconnected. I'm going to write, okay, so-and-so heating, their phone number. I'm just going to keep going down the list. There's two things that are happening. One, you're making a list, and you're finding out who your competitors are that are answering the phone. You're going to be surprised. There's going to be people that won't even answer the phone on a Saturday and Sunday. So if you're in business, it's a little bit slower, answer your phone on Saturday and Sunday and after hours. That's how you can win some customers. There's a little nugget. So let's make that list. Once you got that list, now you need to figure out, okay, which phone carrier owns these phone numbers? That's a little tricky. That's where you're going to rely on your phone service provider. And I had access to an account representative. I would email them that information and they would respond back to me that CenturyLink owns this phone number. AT&T owns this phone number. Verizon owns this phone number. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. So you might start out with a list of 15 and only come down with, uh, you can find information on five. This is an ongoing process. Write it down in your stenographer's notepad. We're going to use this over and over and over again. Every time it gets slow and everything's caught up and there's no work to do, we're going to revisit this. That's why we want to make notes. You can't do it in your head. So. Uh, another thing I'm going to recommend, start with a phone book that's probably at least a year old. I don't know if you guys remember it, but we went through a recession. What do you think happened to all those contractors that were doing new construction back in 2006 to 10? Get you a phone book. I didn't have one. Who had one? You can always go to the library and get one, but here's another idea. I just posted on Facebook. Any of my friends have a old phone book that they wouldn't mind having uh, given to me. I got some like 2007 phone books. What did I do? Went to the heating and air uh, section, called them all. You're gonna find more in there. So now your list keeps getting bigger, 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 bigger. Now we need to identify who owns those phone numbers. Once we know who owns those phone numbers, we've got some work to do. But how hard is it to sit there and pick up the phone and find a phone number that's disconnected. It's not hard, it just takes a little bit of work. What I found is every time I found a disconnected phone number, I felt like that was money in my pocket. And uh, it got exciting. What really gets exciting is when you turn those phone numbers on and they start calling you on nights and weekends. They don't know the company maybe went out of business, went bankrupt or what have you. Here's your opportunity. You go out there, provide great service, slap your stickers on there, now you're their now they're your customer. So I'm a maintenance agreement. You know, but you gotta have a plan once you get it going. So 
Another thing we can do because everything's kind of moved away from the phone books is YP.com. Do the same thing. Heating and air contractors. You're going to get a list of them. We're going to call them all. We're going to make a list. When we make that list, then we need to find out who owns that phone number. Once we know and once we have that list, the next step is like watching it's like watching molasses because the wheels next are going to be slow because we're going to be doing stuff that nobody's doing and I can tell you this because in the next video I'm going to cover out uh, I'm going to cover now we know who owns that phone number what do we do so that phone number now becomes our property so like and subscribe thank you for watching my channel do me a favor if this is something you're interested in Take some action. Go out there. Make your list. Um, I might wait a few days to do a follow-up video on how do we actually get to own those numbers. But if I know some guy sitting there and he's done the work and he's made the list and he shoots me an email, link in the description to me, I'll, I'll stop what I'm doing and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another video and tell you exactly how you can own that. And then here's the deal. Once we get good at buying phone numbers, our town, the next town, a town over here we like to work in. Once we've kind of filtered through every phone number we think we can find, which I did, no one did it in my neighborhoods, no one did it in the, in the areas I worked, it was like an untapped market. Now I'm going to look for plumbing contractors, electrical contractors. Some of those guys are doing heating and air as well. A lot of those guys maybe retired, went out of business, who knows? Bought their numbers too. When it's all said and done, you could probably do this whole project for less than a thousand dollars. It takes time. Well worth it. Like I said, at the peak of my uh, owning a business, I think I had about 12 of them. What I would do is I'd turn them on, monitor the results. Here's the deal. Once you have that phone number and you have a, a phone service provider, you can get a report. You can start to monitor how many calls you're getting off that phone number. Just like any other marketing you're doing, you want to put a tracking number on it. You're going to spend a dollar on a flyer, a dollar on some direct mail, a dollar on your uh, website. You need to track that money. You want to see what leads are coming in and is what I'm spending profitable. That'll be another video. So. Once again, thanks again, guys. Uh, I'll make another follow-up video because there's just so much to cover on this topic.